In this video, we're going to review the parts of the sheep brain. We're going to look at this view, but first we're going to start here. I'm going to go through these. A, this whole structure here is pretty easy. That's the cerebrum. This structure down here, posterior, is the cerebellum. This tree-like pattern you see, remember, is that arbor vitae. Here is the corpus callosum. This space in here that does not have a letter is the lateral ventricle. Again, when you're doing the dissection, you may have to put a blunt probe in there to see that space, because remember that's where cerebral spinal fluid is going to flow. Below that is the fornix. This is the thalamus, hypothalamus, pineal gland. Back here is the capora quadrigemina. You can see that best. You can actually see it better on a sheep brain than you can on the models. Is that transverse fissure between the cerebellum and the cerebrum, if you kind of split that, not split it, but separate them through that fissure, it looks like a little person's mooning you. It looks like a little butt looking at you. So that's the capora quadrigemina. Here we have going into the brain stem, the pons, and below that the medulla oblongata, and then you get into the spinal cord. Again, cerebrum, cerebellum, the arbovitae is the tree-like pattern, corpus callosum, lateral ventricles, that space, fornix, thalamus, hypothalamus, pineal gland, capora quadrigemina, pons, and medulla oblongata. Looking at the inferior view, we see the whole thing here is your olfactory nerve. You have the olfactory bulb, olfactory tract, and again the whole thing is the olfactory nerve. Here you see the little stubs of where the optic nerve was cut, here and here. Remember where they cross over is the optic chiasm. Here are the mammillary bodies. This is the pons. So again, whole thing is the olfactory nerve, olfactory bulb, olfactory tract, optic nerve, optic chiasm, mammillary bodies, and pons. Again, there's a part of the test. You will get tested on these, and you also have worksheets for these that you can practice before you actually get to the test.